Okay, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Hey, hey guys, it's me, the one, the only Mikhail, and welcome back to a new video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about The Ordinary because I have just recently ordered from them. Now I'm trying to make myself have a new skin routine because the last one I had was just not doing it anymore. Um, I've ordered the lactic acid 10% Whoops, that was a French time, sorry guys. Uh, lactic acid 10% a while ago. Because of my first video, the link will be in the description box below. I've had the 5% lactic acid because I was building the tolerance for it. So then I did 10% and it still wasn't doing like a lot. A lot of people were talking about burning, working. And I kind of wanted that in a way. Even though burning does not mean it's working, I just like that feeling of something's happening because I don't really have sensitive skin so I can do so but if you have sensitive skin please the HAAs that you should really be sticking to or like building the tolerance up towards let's start with like 5% lactic acid or even the mandelic acid because that is meant for sensitive skin since I believe it's the molecule is bigger than a uh, glycolic acid which I bought today from the ordinary not today but I bought it and I have right now so yeah, I'm building up my new skincare routine. I'm not going to be doing a video for that right now for my 2020, but I think I'm going to bring it out in like midsummer or November times because I want to know if my skin can like it's actually working. I mean, right now so far, I think it is doing way better than the first um skincare routine that I've had. So, that's a bonus. That's the plus side. Sorry for the background. My brother is crazy right now. I'm still waiting on a few more skincare products for me to be like, hey, I have built all my skincare. My, yeah, I have built my skincare routine. I'm ready to show you. But right now, that's what I would have. But I've ordered The Ordinary, and I'm going to show you guys what I've ordered. And towards the end, stick around because I have some news about the channel. So this is going to be a quick little video since this is what I have in mind right now. <laughs> but as soon as I got it, it came in this big box because of the amount of stuff I ordered. I ordered another time, like I said, when I ordered lactic acid. I also ordered another thing from Noid, which was really expensive and didn't work for my skin. But I'm like, you know what? They can keep their money because maybe it works for somebody else. I don't care for the refund right now. I feel like I have money in my bank like that. <laughs> no, but what I ordered from Noid was the repigment. It was supposed to be like a brightening serum. Um, no, I didn't like it. <laughs> it didn't work for me. No, baby. I'm gonna I'm I'm buy some vitamin C. And that's what I did. But I want to talk about what I got first, okay? The biggest one that I really, really, really wanted was the glycolic acid because I love exfoliating. What? Because I love exfoliating my skin every night or like evening time. That's what the PM means. Um, I really wanted it to boost up the acid intake so now even though it says seven percent which is obviously less than ten percent of elastic acid the reason why this is more stronger or aka potent than elastic acid is again because the molecule is stronger and it penetrates your skin deeper so that's why i really wanted this because i do have hyperpigmentation on like my cheek areas you cannot really see it on camera but if i ever go close i have taken multiple pictures so i will implement it or whatever put it in my video uh, you will see that I have hyperpigmentation and I really wanted this for that. I've also had a pimple here. I didn't even pop it, guys. I didn't even pop it. Like, it literally popped itself. Or sometimes when I touch my face by accident, like, and it had a scab for some reason, it just, like, picked right off and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get PIH, is that what it's called? Yeah, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, something like that. I'm gonna put the definition down here, but I got it, and I also get some here. But as, but as soon as this happened, this came in the mail. Like all the stuff I got from ordinary came in the mail, basically, and it got significantly lighter. So I was like super ecstatic about that because I just want that clear, dewy, glass skin, like you know Zendaya. Like, who doesn't want to have skin like Zendaya? Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Come on, bruh. I got that from Diamond Flawless. Come on, bruh. Come on. All you will, you will need to do is wash your face. Wash your face. Right? I'm not going to 
tell you what I use for my face right now because again I'm trying to figure out what I want to keep and what I want to throw away but in my last video the face wash that I did use in the morning was the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser and at nighttime was the CeraVe SA meaning salicylic acid cleanser this I use in the p.m. I use in the evening you cannot use it a.m. or a.m. and p.m. and if you do use it in the a.m. Please use SPF if you're going outside because that sun is killer and this makes your skin sensitive to the sunlight for real, for real. Like you're gonna be like <laughs> feeling like a vampire. Like you can't stay outside for long. But I wash my face, I put this on the cotton swab, on the cotton swab, on the cotton pad, and I wipe it all over my face. You honestly don't need a lot on the cotton pad because a little goes a long way. I wipe my whole face and I still have enough for my neck. And I'm like, mmm. 12 months you won't last for sure you won't last for a year for sure like this is a, especially at the price as it is at it's a good amount like wow the next thing i got i'm just gonna drop my hands in and pick randomly also ah! like acid mask this is the mask i still have it in the box oh my god this light bro tap that there we go <laughs> i'm like it's so bright since it's the mask, I only put it on for 10 minutes, and I only put this on once a week. Again, because like what I said, I don't really have acne-prone skin, and it's not really necessary for me to put it on like twice a week. Uh, I can if I want to. I used to do that, but I just put it on once a week because that is not my goal for my skin. My skin, like the goal for my skin, is to reduce the hyperpigmentation and the textured areas on my face. This is oil soluble, meaning that it attracts oil, meaning it will pull it out from your pores and leave your pores clean and happy. You know, make them sing like Ariana Grande. Let's see what's the next one. So this one is the vitamin C that I always wanted. Ascorbic acid, 8% plus alpha arbutin, 2%. Now I was, Deciding on if I should only get the alpha arbutin and then a different vitamin A, but that, make, that makes no sense. Let me just get this one. Even though it's 8% ascorbic acid, I feel like I should still build up the tolerance to it. So starting at a lower percentage of vitamin C, I think it's best for me instead of just going straight into the 10% and then buying the alpha, alpha arbutin separately. And besides, it, the cost efficient. Instead of buying two products, I'll just buy both in one two in one you know what i mean this i must say i must say this this is like the holy grail you need vitamin c and oops vitamin c in your routine especially alpha i said alpha especially alpha arbutin if you're trying to get hyperpigmentation to fade because alpha um arbutin is like a natural i don't want to say hydrocoin because I don't like that. I really don't like that product. But it kind of is in a way. It's a natural version of that. Because on the side, it says hyperpigmentation, dark spots, uneven tone, and sign of aging. This is what this product does. This is what it does. And this is what you need, okay? You need it. You just need vitamin C in your routine. When I put it on my face, it did feel a bit warm. I always put this on the nighttime, by the way, PM. I do a lot of my, you know, harder chemical treatments at the night time. So when I sleep, it's doing the work for me. And the sun won't bother me. But when I put it on, it feels warm to touch it. I'm like, mm, that feels so good. I know it's working because I felt that. But the first night that I put this on, let me tell you, something happened. I had a chemical reaction to something. But it's not bad to the product. Um... Vitamin C does not work well with niacinamide, and I did not know that the salicylic acid cleanser from the survey had niacinamide in it because usually on the front it will say what it has, and it says ceramides and salicylic acid. On the foaming cleanser, it says ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Now, so since it didn't say niacinamide on the front, I'm, think I'm thinking there's nothing that contains it in this product. So I put it on and then I let my face dry and then I put this on like right after, I, like dab my face dry. And all of a sudden like clumps of clumps was like forming and it wasn't like 
anything clear clumps it was like dead skin was coming off my my face so i'm like oh my god like it's working no 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 later i found out that it was the chemical reaction to niacinamide and ascorbic acid it did not mean it was working it means it was not really doing anything at all because they kind of counteract each other so that was a waste of a day of a night of a two drops of my ascorbic acid plus alpha argentin but i'm not mad because i later found out the next day and i just had to switch to a different cleanser which was a soap bar irish spring but i rather use the irish spring right now than that for this not to be effective you know what i mean effective but at the end of the day i think people should really own the ascorbic acid 8% plus alpha rb 10 2% if you're looking to clear up hyperpigmentation dark spots you know even I mean, what is it again uneven skin tone and age of signs of aging and this also just glides on your face you only need two drops and it's all oh my god my hair <laughs> and it's all over your cheeks your chin your upper lip your nose your forehead and your neck let me tell you that okay it's so good and honestly you don't even need to press the dropper because it just drips by itself so let me tell you that be careful with that because i honestly lost a few drops by thinking otherwise let me see the next one the next one is niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent i'm gonna say two percent so this prevents acne because because it regulates the sebum control of your skin and it minimizes the appearance of your pores which i really wanted because i kind of have bigger pores around like my nose and upper cheek area which i hate and i want to get into makeup so i want my skin to be um, as healthy as it can before i apply some stuff on my face now i recommend the niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent a hundred percent because this it just feels so good. Let me take it out of the the box. Here we go. It's kind of blurry. I'm sorry, guys. But let me take it out. This consistency is like goopy, and I love that. And it just it's just so easy to slide onto the face. I love it. And I put it on this morning. I need to have um, my moisturizer. I'm gonna order that. I'm not telling you guys what it is yet, but I will show it to you guys soon. And the last product that I have is the Caffeine Solution 5% Plus EGCG. Now, this was for my underbags, and I noticed that I don't really have like dark circles. And I don't really have puffy underbags. I just think this line happens to be there because it's kind of sunken in. But I use this and it's really good. I'm gonna tell you that like it makes me feel like I'm wide, I'm wide awake. Yeah, I was in the dark. I was falling hard with an open heart. I'm wide awake. Anyways, yeah, this really makes me feel awake. Like it woken me up but i kind of stopped using it for a little bit because i want to get to know more of the ingredients since i wasn't really aware of and i think that's one thing that we all have to take into consideration is when we want to buy something look into the ingredients before purchasing because if you don't really know something i think we should really research it to see what the benefits are and what it can do for um basically our skin and if it's what we really want to do for our skin you know but it says here that it helps with puffiness and dark circles. A lot of people on the comic section, like the reviews, said it didn't really help with dark circles, but the puffiness is really good. That's what it helps with. But yeah, one product that I found, well, the ingredient that I found here that's, that it has was melanin. And I'm like, you can put melanin in a product? I thought melanin was a natural component in our like skin to give us color that produces a color for us. Like, I don't understand what melanin does, which that's when that threw me off because i'm like how the hell y'all got melanin in here like cool but like what i've never really heard the ingredient melanin so what does it does like everything else i've seen here i watch high room and i know you learn stuff on YouTube. but yeah i just want to know what the melanin is but honestly 
I really do feel like it's a good product. I'm just taking a break from it right now until I understand the full ingredient list. I'm probably gonna go back into it or I'm gonna get a actual eye cream. I don't know where, but if you guys use eye cream and you had seen results, please comment down below because I wanna know. But this one is like thick. I love sticking it in, like that sounds bad. <laughs> but I just love this consistency a lot. It's real nice. Like it's like a cooling sensation. I feel like one of those people from the malls where like they're trying to sell you like a skincare product. I got caught up in one before, but I didn't buy it. I was like, I gotta go, sis. It doesn't really have a smell, but ooh, that made my skin feel so like it made my skin feel awake. My skin is awake. That is honestly all the products that I bought. This all cost forty nine dollars and forty nine cents canadian so i honestly thought that was a really good price for how many products i got like now i just want to take a few minutes to talk about my direction of the youtube channel i have started school so it has been a little difficult to record certain videos last week i noticed i only put out one but i'm figuring out a schedule so i can do school do the youtube and make some money on the side because i need to find like a job to make money and i know it's gonna make me like whoa she's doing a lot but i really love doing youtube videos and i really need school so i'm obviously gonna work out a work out and find a way and how i can juggle both of them um and i have i'm doing four courses so that's a lot already a full-time student is what i wanted to say and i want to do this youtube i feel like it's also going to help me be more organized in the future because at the end of the day i'm not going to be done school until i graduate Right? So I'm gonna have to find a way to really schedule and be organized. I found a way to organize everything. That's what I'm doing from now. I'm going to be waking up really early, guys, doing schoolwork, and then late at night, not late at night, but like in the evening, I'm gonna be recording and editing so I can get videos out to you guys. And I hope that, I hope it really works. Like, I really do. Now, I'm still going to continue my reaction videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of UK reaction. I want to do other reaction videos too. So if you have any, um, anything else I want, that, you want me, that you want to see me react to, put it down in the comments below. There's still going to be other videos too, like skincare, because I love skincare. There's going to be uh, transformation videos, which I have one in the works right now. Don't worry, that transformation video is coming out shortly. It's either coming out at the end of... Um, May or the beginning of June is gonna be here like I love transformation videos and There's other videos in general what I want to put on my channel is everything that I enjoy like I just want to be one specific Lane like I don't want to be just reaction or just beauty like I kind of like doing it all and maybe if I ever get to be like a bigger YouTuber, maybe I can have a second channel of vlogs because I want to vlog my life one day, you know. But this is what I have for now. And this is what I want to tell you guys. And the last thing I want to say is thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a lot of knowledge of what I have bought from The Ordinary. If you guys want to buy the products, I'll put everything down in the description box below as well. Now, if you guys want to follow me on my socials, my IG is at the only Michaela. I'm going to be posting more pictures when this quarantine has fully lifted. And, you know, I'm going to post them cute. Let me, let me show you a little preview of pictures that I'm going to post, okay? Oh, that was ugly. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. But once I learn how to do my makeup, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom. You know it's gonna be over with it. And if you guys want to follow my Snapchat, is at the only Michaela one. I added the one because you know. <laughs> Anyways, I I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope the rest of your day is wonderful, amazing, phenomenal. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel don't forget to share and if you guys subscribe make sure you press that notification bell so you get notified when i upload a new video how about that <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching once again bye